A lot has been going on and this video did not make hair week due to my personal schedule but we are gonna get into that I've been kind of MIA and I know it's only been like a week since I last posted but I just feel like it's been really long haven't really been posted on Instagram haven't really been tweeting I do also know Lee and I are very much behind on real advice We'll explain that um, and I want to thank my first wig for sponsoring this video and being patient with me through the last like week and a half that's just been insane all right today I am introducing you to a new friend of mine Vivian she is my new fall unit another fall unit it's kind of similar to the last one but it's a little bit longer so if you're into the longer styles you are gonna like this um, and it's kind of gonna be like a chit chat get ready with me hair edition okay to kind of explain my life and what's been going on um so let's get into it i am first going to show you guys what comes in the box as usual and then we will get into styling the hair itself you know also if this eye looks swollen it is <laughs> i don't even know if you can tell on camera but it's like super swollen y'all don't even care but i can't see out of this eye Okay, so like I said, this unit is from My First Wig. They are a sister company to RPG Show, which you guys probably know. I have reviewed a few of their units before. I have reviewed RPG Show as well. Uh, but that's what the box looks like. I got it back there looking real nice. Um, and I am gonna show you guys what comes in the box before we start styling it. So I guess, you know, we should start with the hair itself. I am doing this from literally the beginning to end. Um, the lace is still on here. I have not cut it off. This is my girl Vivian. We are a number two into a number four, I believe. Um, it is like dark and light brown. So it's not really a 1B off black, which I thought it was. Um, it's more of that brown into a lighter brown shade going on but it is a really pretty color we've got the lighter colors framing the face which i always like um and it has not been touched it has not been trimmed nothing this is literally straight how it came and we are going to transform her onto my head all right and as usual my first wig always throws in some goodies they got the goodies if you want the goodie bag my first wig got you for once my nails are done because i had a shoot this morning so this is a little travel carrying case you guys have seen these before which are very handy dandy i like using this for makeup or toiletries normally this is what i have all these little hair cases um inside it came with a bunch of stuff but that's normally what i use it for I give you an elastic band if you want that you get a nice comb, which is still packaged. Bobby pins, you can never have enough, girl. A little instruction manual, which is great if this really is your first wig and you have no idea what you're doing. They let you know in here. Wig clips, two wig caps, and my ultimate favorite wig product, the Flyaway Tamer. You guys have seen this in so many of my videos. I feel like I can't complete my hair until I've used this to lay down all those little flyaways. Real quick, I'll show you inside the wig. You do get three combs, two on the sides, one in the back, and these adjustable straps. This is a cap size one, so it is pretty small. I got a little head, so you know it works out really well. Um, so let's trim this lace off and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get the talking. I apologize if I'm probably not gonna be up close cutting the lace because there's not really a trick to it. Just get it off. Um, so yeah, let's talk about life. Life got crazy in a good way. I don't even know where to begin. I think the last video I uploaded was my model vlog, my first model vlog I've ever done. Um, and ever since that video, my schedule has been very, very chaotic with castings, with bookings. Your girl is booked and busy, okay? I'm gonna put it that way, which is great. I mean, I'm very thankful for that, but it's like everything just kinda happened at once. And a lot of things were thrown on my plate at once. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I'm, I'm, I've been very good juggling it all. Um, but at the same time, I kinda live by that God won't give you anything you can't handle type thing. And I know I can handle it. I feel like I'm just, I don't know, sometimes I probably trip myself up and psych myself out because I feel like I've got too much happening and maybe in reality it's really not that much but it feels like it but my friends have confirmed they're like you're really doing a lot <laughs> like 
<laughs> there's, a, there's a lot going on, a lot happening. I think one of the problems with that is I have a hard time saying no. And it's not that, you know, a lot of people say, oh, well, I say yes to everyone because I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. It's not even that. It's that I say yes because I genuinely think I can, like I'm superwoman or something and genuinely think I can do all of these things. And then when they all start overlapping one another, I'm like stressed out and I'm like, Lindsay, why'd you do that? But at the same time, it's like, I don't want to miss this opportunity. So I think it's a, it's a mix of like FOMO and like feeling like I'm superwoman and can do all these things at once when no one can. So it definitely takes a lot of balance and that's something I've been trying to work on. I'm more aware of like when things are happening and how long each thing will take and knowing when I should agree to something and shouldn't. Um, but at the same time, it's just so many cool things that I have a hard time being like, no, I can't do this because I want to do everything. Honestly, I do. I've cut all the lace off and now I'm going to put these adjustable straps in. And with real advice, Lee and I honestly love filming those for you guys. That's like our favorite thing. And we realize we're like, what, three weeks behind now? Because I promised we would upload every Sunday. And as you can see, the past two, three Sundays, you guys have not gotten an upload from us. And for that, I want to apologize. We both know, well, we both find that unacceptable because we told you guys every Sunday, come back here. But a mix of his schedule and everything that's been happening in his life, which I'm so happy for him for, and the things happening in my life, which he's obviously happening, ha mm -hmm. he's happy for me as well. It's just our schedules are totally like, conflicting <laughs> and it's not even in a bad way of like I never get to see him or anything because I still see him all the time we see each other all the time um, it's just that when we finally get to see each other we're so exhausted from our personal schedules or our own work schedules that it's like to sit down and film like it's exhausting it really is exhausting but it's so much fun at the same time but we have just not had a chance to just sit down and film. Normally we would do it on the Saturdays, the Fridays or the Saturdays, because um, during the week itself, with me in school and work and him with work, it's just, it's, it's not possible. Plus us living on two opposite ends of LA, it's just really, really difficult. So we had been filming on like Fridays and Saturdays. I just wanna apologize again for that, that we have been slacking on that for sure, because we have so many great ideas and so many things planned. It's just that we, can't seem to find the time to film these things that we want to film and that just goes into my channel as well I know you guys see so many hair videos and you're probably like we want more vlogs like I've said previously if someone else was filming me like all right cool but for me to be doing everything that I need to do and be vlogging that when I'm all over the place it's just a lot on me it really is and I don't have help with anything like I I don't and I'm not asking for help I'm not asking for y'all to be like Yes, girl, do it all yourself. But I do do everything myself, as well as helping Lee with his stuff. And it's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. And um, like that goes back to the whole superhero, super me. Hold on, let me put this wig on real quick. So like I was saying, that goes back to me thinking I'm a superhero and I can do everything and it's fine and like I won't get tired. And I forget I'm human and like I do get tired. Um, I've gone days without eating because I'm just doing a lot of work and I'm just working till the break of dawn and right when you think it's done, it's like, oh, you thought you were done. Moving out in LA, I wanted to be busy. I wanted to be booked and busy, sis. And so now I am and it's just like, wow, okay, this is a lot. I wanted this, so I can't complain about it. But at the same time, I don't want y'all to feel like I've like abandoned you or I don't think about I literally think about YouTube every single day and I'm like oh, I just wish it was so much easier to film and edit so I can get more and better content up for you guys more frequently but it's just it's really taken a minute especially with how my schedule is looking right now and today I'm just using my glam palm flat iron I'm just gonna straighten this hair today I'm just kind of in the mood for straight hair yes girl this hair is so silky with castings and bookings it's really it's typically like a really quick turnaround and I don't want to say last minute but it kind of is last minute like you cast for something then you find out if you need to be on set or whatever the next in the next two days and so things you have planned it's like okay now I gotta kind of move around things on my schedule which is something I'm I've been trying to get better at and I definitely think I should um, or I definitely think I have gotten better at that just moving things around but at the same time it sucks when it's like okay I had X Y and Z planned for YouTube but then my other job is requiring something else so 
it's like, whew, it's just a lot. That's, that's really it. I feel like I'm just talking in circles and venting, but just saying the same thing of like, there's a lot on my plate <laughs> and um, we're just trying to, we're trying to make it through. But I do want to thank you for those of you who have been rocking with me since the beginning since the Justin Bieber covers and like all that type of stuff till now. Being there through my growth, I'm still growing, but just like being there to see how I've evolved so far and like where we're headed and I'm, I'm really excited for the future. I'm just really excited for everything that's happening for me right now. Um, it's just weird. It's crazy and it's weird and it's happening and it's like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I'm thankful. I'm a little nervous but excited but weirded out but like 10 year old me is like you go girl and it's just it's a weird feeling i don't even want to speak for lee and all the exciting things he's done and that have happened recently i don't even know if he wants to tell y'all about that it's not my place but i'm super proud of him and what he's doing so we've been trying to figure things out with that if y'all knew what time in the morning it was right now that i'm filming this video but this is literally the only time i have and i have a call time in like five hours <laughs> so i still have to edit this and then take a little a little nap i guess and then get ready for a whole 12 hour day honestly right now i just need your prayers that's basically it i just feel like here until the end of the year Oh, things are gonna be wild, crazy. And it may not even be stuff y'all can see yet. I just know things for 2019 is just... Oh, deep breaths. <laughs> Part of this chit chat get ready with me is really like me venting and like trying to tell myself it's gonna be okay and I got this. Even though I feel a sickness coming on, I'm gonna catch a cold next week, I feel it. But um, we're gonna be all right. You know, like I said, God's not gonna give me anything I can't handle. It's just a matter of me managing my time and prioritizing correctly. Let's talk about this hair though. I think um, I really like how snug the wig cap fits and I think all of my units from uh, my first wig are like that. They just fit really snug and really, really secure and nice on my head. So I appreciate that my first wig, thank you for that, you know? The hair quality is absolutely beautiful and it really is super silky. I honestly feel like I don't even need the flyaway tamer, but we're gonna use it anyway, just cause I always do. I definitely just knocked this whole white over, so I know this is not the same um, setup it was just in. Now, as usual, we are going to frame the face a little bit. So just taking the scissors. I literally don't have a mirror, so then we're just gonna bump the ends, y'all's favorite part of your childhood. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, I like bumping the ends and then kind of brushing it all together, so it kind of makes it look like you just got some type of blowout on your hair, which I've actually never got. I don't even think my natural hair could do that, but for wig purposes, it looks really nice. Just go like you're bumping the ends, but kind of make it into a curl at the bottom. So it's like that. Uh, brush with that just so it adds a little bit of body oh, oh there we go our flyaway tamer and this wig surprisingly does not have that many flyaways but I am just going to put it right down bada bing bada boom that is what the hair looks like Yes, girl. This is very fall-esque. This is like a longer version of the one you guys saw last week, but with darker hues in here. The one from last week um, had a few more blonde strands in there, so this one's got a little bit more brown, but that is the completed look, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching this video and listening to me ramble and vent, just letting out my emotions, okay? I'm not a superwoman, but sometimes I think I am. <laughs> Um, thank you for, for your patience. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Um, and hopefully I will see you guys sooner than later. I do have a lookbook coming to you guys soon and I wanted it to go up this week, but I still have not filmed it. And I feel like I can't film this week the way my hours are set up. But I will try my hardest. If it's not up this week, next week for sure it will be up. Um, but I love you guys. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for rocking with me. We're almost at 100,000K. So if you have not subscribed, make sure to hit that red button. And I will see you guys in my next video.
Fijn dag.